from the beach. Frankie, these guys are a little close. They're beautiful creatures. Majestic. <laughs> Very friendly, too. No, they went right past us. I know. All right, from the beach. Okay. Check it out. We've never filmed from this spot before. No, we have not. I want to rent a canoe. We've never done that either. Yeah, we need to. All right, guys. CRKT, you saw them probably at the start of the year. They came out with a lot of models. Yes, they have. Good for them. And mm -hmm. some of them are really catching our eye. To yes. In, to include this knife today. To include a tuna? Tuna. <laughs> How do you guys say it? I mean, we say it tuna, but we also say it tuna. Tuna. Yeah. yeah. Why not? C-H-U-N-A. <laughs> All right. Now the knife today, I have it, I guess. Yeah, you do. Here we go. CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool. Big tuna. <laughs> yeah, that's an office joke. Some <laughs> of you will get that. Okay, $45, actually. You way to just like rip off the band-aid and tell people how much it costs. Well, what do you wanna, what do you wanna tell them first? Well, we usually like hype it up a little bit and then tell the price. Okay, it's a Burnley design. Okay. Lucas geez. Burnley, I guess formerly out of New Mexico, has now moved to Massachusetts. Interesting, okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but popular American designer, custom knife maker, but he does mm -hmm. sell his designs to production companies like so. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a thumb stud knife. Folk of Burnley Quicken. Oh yeah, we sold ours. <laughs> Sadly too, because those knives are cool. No, we're just stupid. We were. But look at him. He has a tuna profile. So it does. Yes, it yeah, does. Yeah, well, and there's different kinds of tuna. There's a few different varieties out there. <laughs> well, I'm saying this one has a specific design, though. This one has the blue, bluefin tuna. Bluefin. Bluefin. I wanted to say bluefish, but I guess it's bluefin fin. tuna. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not to be confused with the yellowfin tuna. Because check and out the other colored fin tunas. Check out that downward slope on the profile. Really makes for nice cutting tasks. Yeah, it does. To be honest, guys, I've only used this on cardboard and I think um, a little bit of plastic, mm -hmm. but a fair amount of cardboard. You've used it more than me. No. We yeah. just got it. I haven't even cut anything with it yet. <laughs> Give it a thwack. There you go. Yeah, thumb studs. A lot of you um, don't like flippers. Actually, I should, I should say some of you don't like flippers. Yeah. Some people go gaga over thumb studs. Right. And here you go. Here. If you want a thumb stud. $45, though. That's a pretty good deal. It's not bad. Um, there's a lot in that price category. Yes. But this design, I think, is really going to get some attention. Well, it has a different look to it than other knives. It's sleek. It's, um, I guess, somewhat understated, but it's got some cool accents to it. Flair. I'm not, I wouldn't even say flair. I would say it's tuna flair. So there is... <laughs> Guys, there is some um, uh, pivot collars there. I guess they're probably steel, but I'm not positive. But look, they're copper finish. Yeah, yeah, it does look like copper when you first get it. I'm guessing it's aluminum, but... Um, yeah, maybe but the, it's the copper in color. Right, maybe the pivot collar as well yep. is aluminum. I'm not positive, but steel frame lock here. And the finish matches the blade too, so it kind of all becomes one color. Actually, yeah, on the frame side. So it's the it's a black kind of stonewash finish and then the same. Would you call this a modified swedgy coon? Spear I, point? It's pretty much just a drop point though. It's a spear point. Oh yeah, with okay. Poon. I guess officially they are going with spear point on this one. Yeah. And it's got some poon. Mm-hmm. Wait, no. No it doesn't. It's got some swedge. It's got swedge. I got the two confused for a second. Swedgy poon. <laughs> that was a different video. Yeah. All right, um, three and a quarter inch blade. Some kids chasing those ducks mm -hmm. behind us. Yeah. Canadian geese, that is. All right, how do you like it in your hand? I like it in my hand. It's See, actually thin in hand, or it feels thin in hand. I, I just want to film this. They didn't even... That kid is like barely taller than those things. They didn't even care. They're friendly. <laughs> You guys know Canadian geese. They can be pretty nasty. They're they're friendly like the Canadians. Much like much like real Canadian people. <laughs> no, just kidding. 0. 0.42. So it's on the thinner side. Yeah. Definitely on the thinner side. And the blade stock? 0. 0.14. 0. 0.146. Round that up to 0. 0.15. Maybe on the slightly thicker side. Yeah. All right. Nice access to the frame here. 
So yeah, it has to go to cut out. Yeah, just a little bit of a cut out there. Easy to access. No lock stick. Okay. When it was new right out of the box, it had a good action. And the clip completely matches too. It's only right hand. Yeah, sorry lefties. Lefties can't have tuna. Nice thwack. It's a good thwacker. Frankie doesn't like tuna though. Um, the only tuna that I've liked is mahi mahi. I'm not sure if I've had it or not. It's Hawaiian tuna. Yeah, I might. I may have had it in Hawaii actually. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. with you. Yes. All right. No, I was saying no lock stick. You were saying right hand only. Mm -hmm. Um, that's all right though. Yeah. Now I, I've carried this knife for a few days, and I will say it's um, you know, very deep carry, subtle clip, not much to it, right? Yeah. It but it is going to be noticeable in the sense that there's that copper color. Catch the copper. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you're going for that discreet look, I mean, you, you're going to see, you're going to see this. Yeah. It's going to stand out, say, on a pair of blue jeans, that kind of thing. But true. What about sweatpants? Sweatpants. <laughs> Since you live in sweatpants. Frankie's bugging me. At the time we're filming this, sweatpants are just fine. You guys know that. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. All right. Nice action on that. Thumb studs. I'd say perfectly comfortable. How much do you think he weighs? Ounces. There we go. What do we got? Four? 3.77. Not bad. Not bad. Um, all things considered in the price, yeah. really not bad. It's It disappears in your pocket, that's for sure. So we didn't talk about the tuna in the room. <laughs> What's that? The blade steel. Oh, okay. So you guys have made it this far in the video and we've not set it yet. No, we have not. Eight? It's not even labeled. It's not. Mm -mm. 8 CR 13 MOV. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, we've said it. It's not bad. It's not that bad. Some Probably people for forty-five dollars, it might be a little bit more expensive. Okay. Okay. But you know. Well, it's an American company. Right. It's an American designer. Yes. All right. Um, that's that's just, just going to raise the prices a little bit. It is produced in China. Or, you know, it is it is a Chinese-made knife. Right. Yes. Um, but those, uh, you know, those two things are going to kind of bring up the the price a little bit mm -hmm. before you have. Uh, well, and Chinese look at factor. it. It's just cool looking, too. It is. It really is. Well, they know when they got a winner. Exactly. Yeah, Burnley's done multiple designs with CRKT and others. Yeah. Do you want to bring in some comparables? Comparables, yeah, sure. Oh, there's a little jipping on the top. Yeah, which is, I mean, almost useless, but it looks cool. <laughs> yeah. It's comfortable in my hand. Okay. What are we saying? I have the Civivi Hooligan. Hooligan? Kind of similar. We brought in a lot of thumb studs. Sixty some. Yeah. Say. Yeah. It just got yeah. Really windy. It did. And my sign is still up. Just saying. I'll stick around to the end of the video, I guess. What you got there, Frankie? Vagina. Steel will that, that thing's huge, but it's a cool thumb stud knife. Isn't it like sixty nine dollars? Good guess. <laughs> it's sixty something. I know. Yeah. All right. How about the? Whoa! I almost dropped that. That's the uh, D two rat. Yeah. R2D2? I just, I can't get behind the rats. They're just ugly. You don't have to. You don't like this knife. No, that one's really ugly too. The Zancudo. Okay, these are like right about 30 bucks. These, depending on the model, 30 bucks and up. I know people hate me for saying that I don't like the rat, but I just don't. I'd rather a real rat. There's the Kaiser bag letter. The full size? Yeah. And here's the mini. Okay, the mini? Um, I guess the tune is somewhere kind of between, but these are... These are like slender, like steak knives. Yeah, they are. Um, this 50, one has much more belly. Fifty something, fifty something, about. Yeah. yeah. Now there's a cool knife. Uh, see our video on that. Uh, that's the ten. Ta Frankie, that's the Tangram. Vector. Vector. Thumb studs, but it is a button lock. Yeah. At uh, one point, a couple years ago, you could get those for twelve bucks. Oh on my a, gosh, it's such a crazy deal. On a coupon code. Here's the CEO of another current. CRKT. Not really comparable, but a very cool knife. No, not at all. I gotta show that. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> He's gonna catch those geese. That's funny. He didn't get them. All right. That's funny, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely a lot in this price category uh -huh. to consider. See our other videos, but the tuna yeah. at $45, not a bad choice. No, it's really not. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger than a lot of these knives, too. Um, the only negatives, if, you know... I guess we got to mention a couple of negatives about it, right? Okay. But, what do you got? Well, some people are going to mention here. We've not taken this one apart, but you can see that it's on. 
Nylon washers. Nylon washers. Yeah. Um, that might get complaints as far as long-term durability. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be a knife you want to use out in the field, get dirty, that kind of thing? Do um, Probably not. You know, if, if you're wearing like work boots, this is probably not the knife. It's more of a gentleman's carry. What about if you're wearing these? Or Frankie, a gentle lady. Those are your shoes. <laughs> yeah. Would you carry this? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I should um, probably carry something German though. <laughs> I don't get it. Because they're Birkenstocks. Oh, okay. All right. So I can go with a big light or at least the German name. I wasn't I wasn't catching on there. Yeah, All right. Okay. Um, no, the, uh, as Frankie calls it, plastic washers. Yeah. They can have issues, but most of you are never going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, too, when it comes to uh, nylon washers like that, think about your suspension on the cars, uh, mm -hmm. on vehicles and trucks. Okay. Um, a lot of suspension parts are made of a similar material. Yeah, that's true. They're exposed to dirt. Salt, snow, grime, grime, crud, mud. Just saying, it, it, they're not that bad. Expose it to dirt, you might have a problem. Well, uh, but for normal use, no. You no. can clean it too. Yeah, I mean, you can it's clean. It's not it. like it's a big deal. You well, can clean it. A lot of people complain about bearing knives too, because if you get a, if you get a piece of like a tiny little piece of rock inside the bearing track. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to scar and wear those bearings in that in that actual yeah. uh, so I mean technically I don't know the I'm actual yeah the actual race of the bearing and and, yeah. and the balls Frankie mm -hmm. yeah um, it's all balls these days it's all balls these days all right the only other complaints I had what's that you might not even care as much on this knife actually and it's gotten better you said it had a little bit weaker of a detent slightly weak detent mm -hmm. it's not as well defined it's not a wet noodle detent no would you call it a wet tuna? Wet tuna. Wet tuna. I think it actually has gotten better too. Yeah. And I, I think that's, I think the pivot has smoothed and it's made it feel better overall. The only thing that I have to say about it is that I feel like this clip is a little sharp. Um, yeah, the clip. Because where I have to grab it, it's kind of sharp right there. The clip is a discreet carry clip. And that's why I say it's sort of, it's sort of contradictory to yeah. have this little bit sticking out that is, you know, kind of eye-catching. Mm -hmm. But it's, I mean, it's cool. I yeah. like it. It's good. It's just people that, that like deep carry clips usually like them because they're discreet. Right, yes. Um, or otherwise, you know, you guys tell us. Well, and I saw that somebody said on Instagram that they were, weren't were really sure which side they liked better. Either the green side or the black wash side. Because yeah. it does look really good with that copper pivot. Exactly. We posted this on Instagram the other day and a lot of good comments about it. A lot of people anticipating this model. Yeah. What do you guys think? That's it. I mean, a couple of uh, nitpicks really, but it's a cool knife, cool design. It's 45 bucks. 45 bucks. So, I mean, you really can't. Yeah. nitpick it that much yeah if you um if you use our link to buy it from blade hq which you should mm -hmm. uh frankie ask for a frankie drawing one of frankie's drawings yeah not everybody gets them i understand no i wanted to bring this up some knives are shipped out of virginia mm -hmm. as opposed to utah i'm not sure if they do they send some to virginia too we're gonna have to ask Maybe we can ask Zach. Maybe. And see if we can send some over to the Virginia. Um, yeah, I don't even know the Virginia address. Supply. You don't yep. know it offhand? No, I don't know it. All right. Jeez. No, I think that's everything, guys. Cool stuff from CRKT. We're glad to see that they're still cranking out, uh, you know, quite a few models year yeah. after year. Well, there's always something that you can find that you like, too. Yeah. So. Excellent. Oh, yeah, no blade play. And you guys can look after a little bit of use. Centering's on. Yeah. Oops, that was my fault. There we go. Awesome. What it do you guys cool. think? The tuna. Big tuna. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. We've got our notes here, Frankie. There's no way, I just want to point this out, there's no way that this is going to stay. Look, Rob, I think it's going to be just fine. For the duration of this video, that's yeah. our bet. All right. It's a bet. We're starting filming now. Okay, fine. Those notes are going down. No, they're not. It's already, it just needs a little tiny bit of wind. It's windy right now, so I'm hoping that this is going to be the most of it. <laughs>